Thanks for the bacon. The Ura boy from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Uh, uh, so this article took me by surprise. <laughs> I didn't see this one go. I don't see any of them coming. I really don't. It's all. I think my the, what I am cursed with in life is being shackled by logic and reason. Right? I'm like, well, I, I think, well, nobody's doing anything insane. No, everybody does things, you know, crazy. So I keep having these crazy articles about Doctor Who uh, to talk about. We uh, uh, should do crazy articles about other things as well. But there's just a lot of stuff about. So it was recently announced that uh, uh, one of the new uh, stories to be animated was Galaxy 4. Uh, if, if you don't know, if you, if you know that uh, there was about, what, 97, I think? Episodes that were uh, thrown away, <laughs> essentially, in the uh, in the early seventies, they they had yeah they threw away a bunch, uh, and they slowly been 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 recovered over time. They found found them in uh, in other countries, uh, and people are searching for them. But basically, there's a bunch that are lost. So what they've been doing is they've have they have the audio recordings of them. Also, they have these like thing called tele snaps. Somebody stood in front of a TV and took pictures of them. Basically, for actors to use in their like resume, so there'd be some kind of record of them um, working, right? <laughs> so they could see them, yeah, on the telly. Um, so, uh, uh, so they have those. So they've been making like animated reconstructions of uh, of these lost episodes with varying degrees of success. They basically just hit a, a decent seam in the last few years of working out how to do it, uh, 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 and they have two teams working on it. Uh, 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 one one team, the good team, <laughs> have done stories like uh, uh, well, they got the Evil of the Daleks coming out in about two weeks, in about a week, I think. I'm really excited about that. They've done Macro Terror, uh, Phases One. They've really done, and they're really really good. There's another team uh, 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 led, I think, by Gary Russell, who's, who's been around fan for a long time, uh, and Big Finish. Uh, not so great, right? They just did uh, uh, Fury from the Deep, and that was. Really disappointing. It was just really, really disappointing. Anyway, so they've just announced the the the, and the new story to be uh, to get reconstructions coming out in about uh, about a month from now, isn't it? Uh, about two months in in in, in November um, is Galaxy Four, uh, uh, and I wasn't thrilled. I'll be frank. I really wasn't thrilled. It's not a great story, in my opinion. I've listened to the audio. It's not a great story. It's a bit clunky. There's really not much to recommend it. There are these. Uh, uh, Somewhat, somewhat crap monsters called Chumbleys that are, that isn't even their real name. It's what uh, Vicky calls them. There's a lot of stuff. It's just it's just clunky, uh, 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 and it's being done by the B team of the uh, of the of the uh, the Gary Russell Big Finish uh, B team again. And I wish I could speak more more complimentary of it. It's just not very good. And they released a, a teaser trailer, uh, and it looks really bad. Again for me, again it just looks really really bad. So with all that said, it was a bit curious that Screen Rant, who were like, I, I don't know, I don't even know if they know what Doctor Who is, uh, wrote an article saying how this looks freaking awesome. I mean, like, it is, it, everything, how can everything, one out, let's say, always be wrong? Like, how can the pendulum always be on one? It makes no sense to me. So we're going to read this article together. Uh, uh, we might take the piss out of it, right? That might just happen, uh, uh, you know, how, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, hang on to your hats. <laughs> Who knows or dares to dream what's going to happen. Before we get into it, can you hit the like button? Thank you very much. Fan Dabby Double Dose, you can hit the share button. Also, thank you very much. I, I'm, I'm very appreciative. Like, share, subscribe. You can hit the subscribe button. My subscribers, not doing bad, but they kind of stagnated last few days. If you can get me up another five, that would get me to, was it, 3180, okay? Or something like that. Uh, uh, and that just gets me... Closer to 3,200. And I just want to get closer to 3,200. Why? So I can get closer to 4,000, 5,000. See, and I, I, I just, it, it's never going to end, right? It's never going to But I do uh, uh, insanely like you hitting the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Comment. Let me know what you think. I've got a bunch of comments I need, need to uh, reply today. And go check out my Indiegogo. It's over here. Uh, uh, shipping any day now. I am I'm contacting the shipper, uh, the printer today. Hopefully they'll give me news on where I'm printing, where I'm printing in for the US. I'm printing in the US, or am I printing in the UK? Who knows, or dare soon, but the biggest deal right now is just getting the spreadsheets ready to make sure everybody gets the right thing, which is just pure stress. I'm t it's just pure, unrelenting stress, because I, I, uh, 
Listen, I always feel like I've got to do a good job. It's only pays me. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I, I really got, I feel I've got a responsibility to do good jobs. I just got to make sure everybody gets everything and it's all as good as it can be. That's basically my, the way, the way I, I attack things. Uh, now, what is this? You might ask. It's uh, two graphic novels. It's uh, biblical, Bible stories, Ace Crisis, Rationalists and Rogues. They're very biblically accurate. Not very preachy, I think of it. Oh, it's kind of, again, like the early uh, uh, Sandman books, uh, Hellblazer, that kind of thing. Early Vertigo books, I should say. Uh, and the Imperium, a love letter to Telly Fancy in the 1960s. Art by Dominic Racho, I wrote this one. Uh, it's freaking awesome. Go check him out. Yeah, a whole bunch of extras. You know about this stuff. I plug it many times a day. As one, one of the reasons I am looking forward to uh, uh, wrapping up this campaign. So I can stop relentlessly plugging it. You know, that 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 would <laughs> that would be good. But then I'm going to stop plugging something else. So so there you go. You know, it it, it, it never ends. Like, like, like asking for you to hit the subscribe button. It never actually ends. Uh, also, something else that never actually ends is the uh, uh, complete clueless idiocy of uh, of Screen Rant, right? The complete clueless idiocy of never seems to uh, um, uh, say, no, no, we can't be that stupid, right? No, 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 uh, 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 we just can't be that stupid. Yes, no, they can. Ten ways Galaxy 4 will be the bestest Doctor Who animation ever! Why? It looks really bad. I'm going to look, the animation looks bad. And it's of a bad story by people who've done bad animation in the past. And by the way, I I, I, I can't swear to it. I, I'm pretty sure the people responsible for the uh, unwatchable animation on Web of Fear is the same group, right? It was this, even though it's been done in a in a different uh, done in a different method. It just it it looks bad. Okay, it looks bad. Since uh, 2006, we have releasing a variety of animations based on Doctor Who's missing episodes. Still the first one, the best. Uh, uh, this will be getting Cosgrove Cos Hall's animation reconstruction of episodes 1 and 4 of 1968's uh, The Invasion. Yeah, it, it was fantastic. It, that, that's still the best one to this day. Um, which sees the second Doctor and his companion, Jamie and Zoe, encounter Cybermen Earth. Really good. If you haven't seen that one, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's well worth the DVD. It's a phenomenal story. Uh, and, and again, I was watching. Uh, what was it uh, uh, the 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 Pandorica opens or the Big Bang? Matt Smith's final episode of his first season last night, and, and yeah, it, you can just see the similarities between Matt Smith and, and Patrick Travers' Doctor Who. Uh, really fantastic. I, I you know, it's a, it's a great story. That's absolutely a great story. Um, fine. Previously, these uh, cartoons have been restricted purely to stories that only two uh, two parts. Well, that's not not. For a while, but in uh, 2016, this will change with the release of uh, Power of the Daleks, uh, which contains six episodes. Yeah, that was the first of the I, again. They, they they did a few ones with, with the uh, uh, filling in the episodes, like the uh, of varying quality. Um, you had uh, uh, the Ice Warriors; they really looked kind of a little bit bendy. All the all the animation did, that didn't really work. Uh, uh, Reina Terra also didn't really work. Good story though, but too much. Uh, rotoscoping there's a lot that's bad. and again i think that's by the gary russell big finish team they, they, they don't have a good track track record um uh direct so these late animation offerings uh recreating episodes of 1965 serial galaxy 4 is set for uh uh to release this november this adventure promised to be especially satisfying release we're many believing this could be the best animation yet how just ha I, again, I've seen the trailer. You don't even see any like character animation. It's just like kind of very static with a bit of uh, um, wonky music. I mean, again, look, this 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 doesn't look good. I'm sorry, this does not bode well, right? It looks very rotoscoped, and it's just not going to work out well. Um, so number ten, heart no and color. <coughs> um, I also watch the black and white ones. I mean, I I never like watching them in color. I, I this I mean I've been banging on for a while that I think a uh, an animated series of Doctor Doctor Who Legends or whatever uh, could be fantastic could be absolutely great. Uh, this just isn't it though. I'm sorry, the animation's just not good enough. All right, again of what they showed us, and I think if it was any good, they would have showed us something that's, that's pretty good. Uh, Jim and William Hartnell, three tenure of the first Doctor the show was filmed exclusively in black and white. Really? Wow, who knew? Uh, however, for the animated release, Cartoon Studio Big Finish Creative, aha, okay, have made both black and white and color animation. They kind of made a color one and then they 
de decolorized it <laughs> for a black and white uh, old Galaxy 4. It's my guess. It's my guess. I can't imagine that they did it another way. Uh, this makes the first time Heartless have been portrayed in color, bar a few uh, glimpses in the three Doctors. Who gives a shit? I mean, like, again, and do you have any idea what a massive Doctor Who fan I am, right? Like, what a relentlessly obsessive, massive Doctor Who fan I am. Who gives a shit? I, I, it's really what, what I can say. Uh, Galaxy 4 is a particularly unique uh, release for fans, offering a tantalizing window into what colour Hartnell series would have looked. Nobody's ever cared or thought about it ever before. Presenting animation and colour also gives Big Fin creators the opportunity to show their imaginative, uh, imaginative capabilities by offering uh, their own take on what these characters, uh, on how these characters would have appeared. Uh, with, uh, and then we shot colour. Uh, I'm sure it, uh, with colour cameras. Again, I, I, again it look, it's looking worse now. The more you show me, the worse it looks. The visuals looks bad. Alongside the announcement of Galaxy Wars release, uh, audience were treated to a brief trailer. This offered a small glance at the animated visuals, and they really weren't animated. It was, it was a bunch of stills, really. Uh, 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 the reconstructed serial, the teaser... Features a vast outer space vista occupied by uh, uh, by a varied number of colourful worlds. Yeah, yeah, just go watch it yourself. Uh, the short clip then ends with the TARDIS arriving on the planet uh, Dava and the Chumblies emerging uh, from behind a rock foundation. Yeah, none of this bodes well, mate. None of this bodes well. The visuals are gorgeous, uh, gorgeously realised. No, they're not. Again, I wish, I wish I was on the same drugs as these people were. Because no, it's not. No, it's not. Um, uh, offering a stunning representation of the scenes uh, from this partly missing serial. Is it all missing? No, they have one episode, I think. Uh, I think. I don't know. With, uh, but they animated the whole thing. With breathtaking awning hues and bright interstellar backdrops, the trailer utilizes uh, the HD color animation style well. Added to this, the surprisingly detailed TARDIS model yeah, it didn't look good. Uh, and the trailer promised to be one of the show's most dazzling animated releases. Yeah, I, I listen, this is just so un untethered from reality, right? It's just not what they're saying at all. Uh, return to 2D animation. You mean like Evil of the Daleks and, and Power of the Daleks and uh, Faceless Ones and Macro Terror? Yeah, you mean like those ones, right? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, even Fury from the Deep. Um, when Weber Films was released in August, some fans were aghast that the usual 2, 2D animation had been replaced by 3D uh, uh, animation alternative. No, we weren't aghast. We were aghast that it was shit, okay? <laughs> you know, we were aghast that it was very, very bad, that it made you want to vomit. Um, uh, the Weber Fear... The uh, third episode uh, received somewhat unresponsive reception from the fan base. Yes, because it was shit. Right, exactly. Uh, with some critiquing the quality of the finished pro uh, production, which was, again, shit. Uh, Galaxy Sword, meanwhile, returns to a 2D animation process, which provides uh, which uh, proves success on previous releases. Not their last one, not the Fury from the D one. It was pretty bad. Uh, the image contains within the uh, within the Doctor Who magazine news piece shows some promising potential with the return of the uh, uh, with the, this returning animation style. The picture portrays two Darvins guiding a spaceship, uh, guarding a spaceship setting, uh, uh, guarding a spaceship setting uh, uh, surrounded by some ominous green smoke and a brilliantly uh, it's a brilliant atmospheric picture that recreates an uneasy built an otherworldly setting. Well, well, why aren't they showing it then? I mean, is this it? Because it didn't... Look, yeah, look, the chump, it all looks very, very 2D. Uh, it just doesn't look good. Um, the, number seven, the Chumblies. The, God, in the 60s, they were definitely trying to find... Uh, do some more Daleks. Like, well, let's try that. Let's try it. Nothing worked, okay? Nothing worked. The, oh, yeah, the gigantic success of the Daleks could be some of the most terrifying aliens uh, in Doctor Who. Uh, led to many writers attempting to recreate their popularity, yes. Uh, perhaps the most memorable of these endeavors uh, is the Chumblies. I would say the Quarks. Uh, created by writer uh, William Ems, the Chumblies resembles a tiny ro uh, robotic machines that are operated by the Rills, and, ex and extra the extraterrestrial robots are one of the biggest, uh, best designs in the Hartnell era, owing to their simplistic yet effective appearance. 
Yeah, it's not good. I mean, look, they haven't rushed to make a, a, a Chumbly action figure. Uh, you can get one free 3D printed if you want, I think. Uh, but they also possess some of the greatest abilities compared to Doctor Who monsters. The Chumblies are equipped with everything from flamethrowers, uh, uh, what was it, ammonia bomb, basically whatever the script needs it to have. Uh, they also capable of communicating in in any language and throwing projectiles. Yeah, they were crap. I'm sorry. Oh, as I'm reading this, they 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 get worse, right? It, it, they're not good. Um, uh, the well, the emblems of these capabilities could potentially suit animation format well, offering creative things the opportunity to play around with a more exaggerated style. Again, so far, uh, uh, that's it, right? That's a more exaggerated style. Exactly. <laughs> okay, the reels. Uh, 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 another very bad Doctor Who monster, right? A very bad Doctor Who monster. <laughs> One of the oldest races in the universe, the reels are a largely peaceful race. Their robotic creations of chumblies are mainly used to observe uh, unfamiliar alien environments. And, and yeah, look, the big, th the, yeah, the real, the mind twist, you yeah, know, the big twist of this one was the ch the uh, Darvins were bad, but they were pretty. But they really weren't, actually. They all look, all look kind of like, a bit, bit like your grand. Uh, and the reels were good, even though they looked evil. It was a very simplistic, uh, lost in space style storytelling, and I don't really care for it, quite frankly. Um... Uh, uh, even in unfamiliar alien environments, they uh, only extract they uh, they uh, they only exact more violent methods when they are provoked. Uh, the reels possess a lot of the same behavioral activities as the Doctor, preferring to learn about new civilizations they counter rather than attempt to dominate the planet. Right? Okay. Uh, these species are uh, these species is prob this species. This piece is probably one of the most interesting within the show's history. Really not. Uh, their rich and detailed backstory contains a number of unique aspects, uh, such as how their democratic process relies on the level of ugliness. Yeah, it's a very trite storytelling. And how they manage to scientifically increase their own lifespan. The rules perhaps deserve a greater recognition in Doctor Who fandom, which Galaxy 4 may, uh, animation may deliver. And they won't. It won't. Uh, the, the Dravins, yeah, this is the, uh, the, the, the pretty ones, right? Yeah, exactly. They all look a bit all spacey. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, uh, they just do. I mean, look, best, look, I, they all kind of look like the old pictures of my mom again. <laughs> None of it's good. Hailing from the planet Davia, the Davians are... And all female warrior waste. Ooh, are you a warrior? Yes, I'm a warrior. Uh, waste of warriors. Uh, who cause many problems for the Doctor and the companions throughout Galaxy 4. Well, all, all six episodes of it. Is it four episodes or six? I can't remember. Uh, upon, upon searching for a new planet to colonize after the world falls into environmental chaos, they crash uh, un, uh, on an uninhabited planet alongside their arch rival, the Rills. The Darvins are perhaps the most relevant, uh, more relevant today than they were in six. As the reputation of women on television continues to be a strong talking point, yeah, it's a false talking point, as this proves. You freaking morons! Yeah, I understand you don't think women were invented before 2017, but like, yeah, they've been around for a while, right? Women have been. It's just, yeah, I know this completely disproves my every uh, my every thought whatsoever. But bleh, what the hell? Um, uh, so the, the, these extra women villains uh, are trying to be strong and fierce women. That well, they are warriors, warriors uh, who will stop at nothing to achieve their prime objective. Yeah, I remember that their prime objective of being a bit frumpy, as I recall. Uh, this helps Galaxy to make a story. This is the only reason he's excited. Oh, for God's sake, you're so transparent. Uh, the story speaks to modern audiences with, uh, who often consume media uh, uh, that reflect a, a diverse British culture. So they won't be scared because there's girls in it. Okay, fine. Marga, yeah, she was one of the uh, uh, crapper villains. <laughs> okay, portrayed by Stephanie uh, Bidmead. Is that re re uh, uh, related to Chris a bit bit of me? I don't know. Uh, yeah, look, she, again, she looks looks like she's like 
I don't know, the landlady at the Rover's Return rather than an inter <laughs> yeah, intergalactic uh, villainess. Um, pretty much Stiffy Benjamin Ma Marga is the leader of the Dar uh, Darvids and rules with an iron fist. Yeah, she's a bit Margaret Thatcher like. They're displaying some rather cruel manipulative tendencies. Margaret was willing to cross all moral boundaries and even murdered one of her uh, soldiers and blame the death on the real rules. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler. She's arguably one of the most callous uh, uh, antagonists in Doctor Who's history. What about Jodie Whittaker? Uh, and show her Chris Chibnall uh, and shows no remorse for her actions okay because uh, I guess she hasn't been uh, cancelled yeah she needs to say we're both we're both god, god I just hate the way these people talk Galaxy's animation uh, allows audience to witness the representation of Stephanie Benjamin's performance in her role the character is one of the more uh, most prolific performers in the 60s having uh, included shows like Correlation Street and Sherlock Holmes Danny Bannon is one of Hartnell's most uh, notable guest stars, providing fans a key reason to be excited about this particular hit release. Man, they are... If there's a dead horse somewhere, they are beating it to get stuff out. Great ambition. Why don't you just say nine things? Okay. Galaxy 4 status uh, as a largely missing serial may prove uh, disappointing for many fans, but uh, it has led to some positive outcomes. Okay, not only are, is it particularly responsible for one of the Doctor Who's greatest classic memes. Uh, what? what? Great classic series memes? What, what, what is the meme? We'll also give him Big Finish Craze the perfect opportunity to, to uh, innovate on the, uh, on the original story. The, the studio has confirmed plans to evoke Technicolor uh, color thrills from the 1960s sci-fi movies with their animated adventure. And again, this doesn't look very good. Uh, and create their own unique uh, version rather than a uh, version of the live-action original. Due to limited resources, the six production team was unable to realize the series' creative ambition. However, with animation, the uh, the only limitation is the uh, imaginative uh, capabilities of the creative team and their budget, which looks pretty low. Okay, This means Galaxy's Force. Untapped potential can now be fully achieved through animated techniques, but it's not going to be. I, I mean, like... How would you pull that from this? Uh, written by a fan. I did not know this. Uh, the modern revival of Doctor Who. At least I said revival, not reboot. Doctor Who has seen many fans write for the show, from Russell D. Davis to Chris Chibnall. Yeah, it's about the only way you can put them, put them in the same sentence, I think. <laughs> Illegitimately. The one is going to be the best showrunner of Doctor Who. Which one would that be? Yeah, okay. But perhaps the earliest example is William Ems, the screenwriter behind Galaxy was an avid follower of the series from his conception in 1963, and his loyalty towards the show uh, program remained until his death in 93. Uh, fans have continued to add some uh, of Doctor Who's greatest episodes uh, uh, over the years, including... Now they're just talking about other episodes. Stephen Moffat's Blink, Russell D. Davis of Walter Miles, William Ends, uh, oh, you know, no, Chris Jim Moss, oh, really? Why, why not? Uh, uh, own uh, love of sci-fi programs is reflected in Galaxy Force, uh, previously unpublished screenplay, which conveys a story that perfectly evokes the show's signature style. Shame it didn't do that. <laughs> the audio that I heard. And number one, a new side to Stephen. Well, I like Stephen as a character. I like, uh, 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 like what's it called again? Um, not William Russell. Man, I just blanked at his name. Blue Peter. Uh, Peter Purvis. Oh, thank you. Uh, I like Peter Purvis. I love him. Big finish. I, I, I think he's great. I mean, really, genuinely, I do. Um, but he's, he, seems a bit, he seems a reasonably layered character. I've heard all these episodes. I've seen all his episodes. I, I, I like him as a character. He's an interesting character. Uh, when Galaxy Falls first advised uh, for Doctor Who's third season, it was originally intended to, uh, for the feature the TARDIS team of the Doctor in Barbara and Vicky. However, Jacqueline and William Russell, and, uh, William, Russell, uh, William Russell decided to depart the series in 1965's The Chase. Uh, Barbara, uh, Barbara's lines with screenplay were uh, reallocated to the new commander, Stephen Taylor. I did not know that! Well, there you go. Galaxy World offers a more uh, valuable take on the popular Doctor Who companion. Now, they've always been fallible. The only time we haven't had fallible people is in the last few years because, you know, you might write somebody black or a woman and they can't be fallible in any way, which makes them very boring, very, very dull. Uh, as far removed and far more, uh, self, uh, more confident and self-assured 
uh, astronaut as seen in the previous story, Stephen makes a constant blunders in the serial, uh, such as accidentally trapping himself in, in an airlock and attack. Well, really, it just doesn't sound good for uh, Barbara, does it? Uh, and attacking uh, Darwin's warriors unarmed. Uh, this, uh, this more vulnerable take on the character has a great sense of peril to proceedings as uh, Stephen appears hopelessly out of his depth. Really? Is that his little swipe at 1960s characterizations of women? Of women? Sounds like it could be. So, yeah. Uh, um, Screen Rant doesn't really know much about Doctor Who. Doesn't know anything about uh, 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 Galaxy 4. Doesn't... Uh, 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 isn't able to process the information going through their eyes and ears of what is good or bad animation. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, But it's got women in it. There you go. It's got girls in it, so therefore, it's still going to be the bestest ever! Which is why everything made in 2021, or pretty much everything made in 2021, is unwatchable garbage. My name is Cena Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.